Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode we finished off by trying to figure out um, a little uh, shrine quest. But I don't think we managed. Or we didn't manage, I don't even have to think. I know we didn't manage, because we didn't find the cave. So we're gonna go up here again and try to figure it out this time. In this episode. But first, let's start here. What should I do? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, hey! You're the one who helped Tulin save the village. We owe you big for that. Ah. Now that the blizzard died down, uh, we're stockpiling all the food and materials we used to have in abundance. The others, are all, the others are all working together to bring supplies to the village. I'm managing the whole process from here. You want me to help as well? Speaking of which, Huck was supposed to bring me some food, but I haven't seen him. He told me to collect food from the snowfield stable in the Tabanta Thundra northeast of here. I hope nothing happened to him on his way back to the village. Ah, oh, never mind me. I was just thinking about my friend of mine. Who hasn't come back yet. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any spare food you're willing to part with, would you? Our food stock supply are looking healthier now that the blizzard has stopped, but it still could still be better. If you have extra food, I'd be happy to trade you for some supplies. I could offer you 10 arrows for 3 glowing cave fish. They're not hard to find if you look in caves. Ah, so you don't have enough right now. If you ever do come across any spare glowing cave fish, I'll take 3 of them in, ex in exchange for arrows anytime. That's good to know. And I will steal your wooden flint also. Because I'm in, in short supply. Finally, no more snow. Maybe we should just talk to him as well. Ooh. Well, look who is this. Thanks for bringing me those shield shrooms. I would have been... It would have been embarrassing coming back with nothing to show for it. You really helped me save face. Now that my wing healed, I'm patrolling the village, checking for signs of damage from the blizzard. The snow has stopped now, but uh, that stuff was piled up everywhere for a long time. There might be lasting damage. What if the bridge gives way while we somebody's walking on it? I can't let that happen. Nots is helping out too. I gotta say, for a kid, he's pretty. He's a pretty good patroller. That's good for you. Okay, let me ascend again here. Should have used the uh, now when we have like the the quick uh, like the checkpoints for quick traveling. We should have put them one up on the top here. Until we have figured this quest line out. Will that actually give us get us to the top? At least close enough, I would say. Like what do they constitute as morning? Is five o'clock morning or is nine o'clock morning in this game? Those birds are always here, huh? The pink ones. Yeah, hello to you, Kuroko. So in the shadow of this thing, there should be a white bird that we should go to, and that will open up a freaking oh, cave entrance of some torp, sort. At least that's what the quests say. Like, where should this white bird be? Doesn't make sense. It's a shrine quest. She said that she saw a white bird sitting atop the, atop the shadow of Va Medov's perch at the early morning. Also the shadow. And where is the shadow going? Ah, there. There, there is a white bird. Damn. 
That's a sneaky quest. That's a real sneaky quest. I don't need the, the water clothes. I can have the falling clothes here instead. And I also want to find the rest pieces of the... The flying control clothes. Okay, so the eye here must be some sort of karaoke or something. Maybe even the entrance <laughs> part. There's the entrance. Oh, the hell. That was not on purpose. Please, <laughs> let me ascend. I don't want to climb. these fishes as well. That's perfect. Okay. So that's where we came from. That's an icicle. Here's the shrine. Will that clear the quest for us? Yeah, nice. Lever power. this there I guess and then you just god damn you stay here ball don't start spinning now not spinning going oh I see what you're doing Rick <laughs> the ball is leaving the shrine it doesn't want to be here anymore. You get back here. Why can't you stand still for like 10 seconds but not anymore? You always start moving in the end. Okay. Let's move quickly then. <laughs> I was just gonna say my depth perception is probably way off here. Uh, 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 uh. Stay for more than two seconds, please. That's not the best, I don't think. It's enough for that, at least. Okay. And this time... We want it wider or longer. Not wider. And I see we have one here that's probably gonna take me, so I will fly all the way up. But first we need to shoot one more ball. Okay. Has to be a bit more... ...closer in. that good? Oh, that's even worse, huh? What the hell? 
Okay, can I just... I don't have a bow on me. Is this the sniper bow? Oh my god, that's... That's a bit cheating. But I take it. I take it any day of the week. And actually, why not secure that there? And boom. Ooh. That's actually close. But we managed. I don't think that chest is worth it. Soon we can start working on the HP on our on our link here. It's probably gonna be uh, those. What's already called? I'm not even remember the the one that drops the snow snow lake thingy. That Colting wants so he can become a Satori someday. Real? My blind? Guess we can never have too many of these fishes now. If we can trade them for arrows. Hopefully we can do it more than once. I just have to backtrack here. We came from here. Bam. There is the shrine. This wasn't the thing that in every... In every cave, it's one of those glowing f frog bulbs, bulb frog, bull of frog, something like that. So he actually told me it should be in every cave. And I'm just thinking, like, is it a secret entrance that I have missed somewhere? Here, here, here. I knew I had missed something. Here it is. This dude. That's the one I'm talking about. I knew he would be here. I wonder if I have snapped a picture on those, by the way. Or if you're even able to do that. I will try to have to remember that for next time we see them. Is this like some enemy place here? I'm up for some fighting. Yeah, here it is. I really, I have to take something more with sneak, I guess. Do that. Why not wake them up with an explosion? Oh my god, I can't take it out anywhere. Where can I take it out then? Did zero damage on them. Maybe we can do this. At least some damage. I don't want to waste the sniper bow if we don't have to. They're starting to get scared. Oh, nice. Okay, then we have a plan. What? 
How was that possible? The first one there. Oh, we need to aimbot this too. I like that I I said it last episode when I saw it. Also, I have 444 of the small bright bloom seeds. It's only him left. Boom, boom. My good weapon is breaking soon here, so I'm gonna just break it by myself. Would be nice to pick up a one-handed instead of a two-handed. Let's just snap this. Long stick. Have we snapped a pick on that? Not sure. We have not. Boker shield. I think we have. I thought wrong. Wooden stick. We for sure must have. Ah. Uh, select. Select all, and then do select this. And then delete. Nice. Okay. Stop doing that last frame. Again. Such a troll camera. Guess out of all this, we don't take anything. Maybe we take the blue one just so we unlock it. And that's actually one handed, so it's great. Let's attach something to that. Something of value. I like the samurai swords, but I always take it. Maybe this. That looks good. 40 damage as well. Which is good for a one-handed. Okay, so we're done with this. Oh! Did I really not go up and check what this is? I usually do that first of all. Nice. I take it. Okay! So we're done with that quest. Should I go back to her? Or is the shrine quest done? Because it was a shrine quest. It was done. Nice. And they told me something about the fly thing. Away from the... Like, been going more away from the... Um, the flags here. It was some flying range that I want to check out. And then we're gonna find the chasm that we spoke... That's the whole reason why we're here at Rito. They have given me a lot of quests here, which I have missed since we were here the last time, so... Why not do those first? That's my thinking, at least. Oh my god, what is this place, huh? Flight range. What up, dude? I wanna fly range. Oh, oh, oh. Hello there, Link. It's been a while, hasn't it? Tiba told me all about what you did. How oh, with your help, that wretched blizzard is finally lifted. What's more, I hear you looked after young Tool in every step of the way. You have my thanks and my ad admir admiration for whatever an old bird's admiration is worth. Ooh as you have no doubt sur surmised, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Tiba's leadership. Now I spend my days here, at the flight range, helping mold the next generation of Rito warriors. I regret to say that the blizzards ruined our old training equipment, but rather than try to recreate the original course, I've taken this op opportunity to prepare a new one. In this course, individuals will train their wits and agility by passing through a series of floating rings. My hope is that this will teach young warriors to fly more confidently, even in unfriendly skies. That said, no one has actually attempted the course. 
as I only just finished it. Hopefully a brave volunteer, I guess me, <laughs> comes along soon to try it out. I can be that volunteer. Oh, can I take this? Oh, that archer set is left over from the past training sessions. It's a shame they're simply collecting dust, but I have no other plans for them. You seem like someone who would put them to good use, Link. There's yours if you want them. Of course I want them. That's the swallow bow that we needed. Nice. Let's do the flying uh, course. Woohoo, so you're stepping up. You want to try my training course? Of course I do. What's a surprise? Woohoo, and an honor. The rules are simple. You pass through as many of the floating rings as you can before time runs out. I hope this will give me more of uh, the flight gear if I'm completing this. I really hope that. Oh, and don't stray too far. Oh, hmm. You'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since this is your first attempt, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough to earn a passing grade. Manage that and I'll give you a fitting reward. So, care to give a try? Let's do it. Oh, 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 marvelous. I'll show you to the starting position. I need to change my gear also. Ready? Any second here. Uh, then on your mark, get set. So first thing, just pause. Change. This. Okay, we have... Thirty seconds to do this. Nine done. Yeah, you should do like some on the way down, some on the way up. Is that not every... No, here also. That was every, huh? Nice. Oh, you cleared all of the rings. Well done. That was fun. I hope they have a more difficult course. Uh, you pass with flying colors. Hoo -hoo. Do you have a pair of wings hidden under there? You set a high watermark for my trainees to aspire to. Clearly I picked the right island to give this course a spin. Please take this. Only gold, huh? You cleared all the rings on your very first try. Astonishing. Link, you have proven you, you're ready for more of a challenge. I suggest you try the advanced course. You're welcome to training here as often as you like, in exchange for a nominal participant fee. fee. Please do come again, Link. Your feats are an inspiration to others. I want to do the, do the, do the advanced here. Yes. I may give you a reward depending on how well you perform. Uh, let me do the advanced course. Cost 20 rupees, that's okay. Okay, this I might not do on the first try. But I hope I will. Okay, so here is really a course that you must follow. Be good enough. Now we're gonna go up again. Ooh, I'm not sure this is the most optimal way to do this. Oh my god. Yeah, we have things up here also. That's no good. Maybe we will have time actually. No, we don't. <laughs> I have failed way too much here. But maybe, 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 maybe actually, maybe. If I don't miss... Oh my, I was so close though. Time's up. I was two away, I think. Ho ho, this time you cleared 31 rings. Now that's some fancy flying. I look forward to seeing you try the course again. That will serve as a good reference for instructing the young warriors who train here. Now take this. Yes, I need to finish this course. So I, in the middle there I freaked it up a bit. By not knowing where to go. Okay. Good start. And actually go here and then take this on the way up, I was saying, but I missed. Here we go. Go up here, yeah, 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 yeah. This makes more sense. There we 
go. I feel like we have missed some. Where have we missed? Where the hell have we missed? Ah, uh, of course. We did it, we did it. The last frame. Time's up. That was just pure luck. Maybe, I guess it's one left. It's, it cannot be 34, it has to be 35. That's a new record. Amazing, a little more practice and you'll be able to clear all the rings. Yeah, it's one left, huh? Got some good cash from that though. Let's do it again. I have to find the last one. Where, where can that be though? So here we just go here. Oh, that's not a good start. That's not good. And here we just have to go up. Go up to this. And we can fall again. Nice. Oh my god. Like now I even less than I usually have. <laughs> what is the part that I'm missing here? Ah, oh, there. And that's actually five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, three, so with that it would be 35. Okay. Well, this will net me positive cash flow every time if I get this score every time. We have an infinite money glitch. <laughs> Okay, give me a better start here now. This, and then fall underneath and go up. And go up here as well. Did I miss one now? No. And we keep going. I guess here, go up also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That should beat them all. And also eight seconds to go. That's crazy good. I can't believe it. You passed through all of the rings. What an incredible showing. I'll record what I saw today. That posterity will know of the flying highland. Please take this in exchange for your tremendous efforts. Please give me gear. That's really nice though. <laughs> it's a lot of gold. Uh, maybe later. It was fun. But a bit sad it was only two... Two uh, courses. Something must exist down here. Like a Kurok or anything. I feel like almost a cave should exist down here. But maybe it's too obvious. Wanna see if I see something that I can use my ultra hand on? No. But this fish I want. A hearty salmon. Nice. Maybe it's nothing down here, only fish. <laughs> Which is fine, either way. I really felt like something should have existed there. Maybe it's a croak on the top of this thing here in the middle. That's also like a typical place for them to be. I guess not. We are here now. 
I guess we should probably be just try to continue on the quest, the Giga Clan quest. No, 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 don't throw. Ooh. This we need to snap a pick on. Maybe even this one. And that one we really want his loot. They drop a lot of good meat. Let's take this also. Ah, damn. It's unfortunate. Ah, oh, you didn't die from that, huh? Eat one more then. Always nice with some prime meat. Oh, it froze. Don't freeze that one. But these don't freeze, huh? No, they do. Nothing I can photo. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's an... Maybe an enemy I need to snap a pick on as well. Oh, it was not. I thought you were frozen, dude. Oh. This we don't, haven't taken a picture on. It's a cute little fox. Probably tasty too, so let's do that. Oh my god. I feel like I have no plan in my traveling at the moment. <laughs> I feel I wanna stumble upon a shrine or something here. But it looks like it's too much as treasure chest. Nothing at all. So I really need to use fire here, huh? Can I maybe... Oh. I thought if I could move them together, then I just have to... Use half, half of the amount of fire things. That was nothing. But this is a chest. And an easy to miss chest. Like, what are the odds that you're just stumbling upon this one? I don't think very high. This is also something. Well, it's weird that it's no shrines, at least no, like, beepings from my shrine meter. Because this feels like a good place to hide a shrine on. That's a Kuroko. That's a chest uh, cave, so we're gonna go in there. And we're also gonna blow this up. <laughs> we need more bomb... bomb fruits. My loot? Will you not float up? That's a bummer. Oh. Now it floated up, huh? Damn, they must have <laughs> bounced way, way down in the water here. Ah, 
I can leave you be. That's a bit sussy place over there with the fire and everything. What the hell is that also? Cave? Yeah, so it's a lot of things here. Oh! I actually need to snap a pick on you. Oh, that's no good. Thank you. Oops. Oh, that's a nice headshot. So I've been sidetracked a bit again here in this episode. <laughs> that's classic though. And this is a boss. No? I thought it would be like those... Uh, is it Talon that they are called? The... Uh, like, um... The stone enemies. Oh, here's a bomb barrel. For me? Yes, for me, for me. And go here as well. Oh, nice, nice, nice. It's some gear. What type of gear can it be? Cold weather attacks. Okay. Looks cool though. I wanna see that hat. Mm. Looked more cool in the picture. <laughs> That's an ugly hat also. Where's my standard gear? There we go. I love the rush attack with the two-handed. It's so strong. It's so quick. Uh... With that done, we need to find the next entrance. So we find the... The shiny dude. Oh, here's a chest. Yes, that's nice. And that's a one-handed as well. Uh, I guess we will waste one of these. This was where we came from, no? Oh, this is another. other... I hear this. Okay, let's see if we have snapped a picture on him. We haven't, huh? That's bad. No, no, no. Never. It never works. That's and everything in this game. Uh -huh. Guess I can't ascend out. Actually, no need to ascend out. Okay, let's go and inspect this place over here. I don't think my stamina will be enough. At least when I do this. <laughs> Maybe it actually will. Nice. Okay, so we have a boat thing. There we have enemies. You know I see you, right? Dude, I'm just trying to snap a picture on you. No need to be so hostile. Just because you were so hostile, I will do the same thing to you here. Okay, so something with fans. And a boat. And a sail. And some snowballs.
Wait, am I supposed to move the snowball somewhere? There is a chest in the water also. Okay, so let me attach you in the middle here, if I'm able to. Yes, that's more than fine. But like... Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? I'll take a weapon. I guess let's take one of these weapons here. And drop one of these first. This feels like such an old way of transporting yourself nowadays. When you have like, you can do a motorboat if you want instead. This is just really stupid. I can almost not even... Oh my, I had... Freak that shit, freak that shit. Is it just enough to go here? Look at me now. Trying to cheat the system <laughs> doesn't work. Let me just climb up here instead then. I'm really not sure what they want me to do with everything here. Don't tell me. They have thought about that, huh? Let me stand on this box for just one second, please. There we go. But the amount of <laughs> speed and precision you need to not make this fall out, fall over. Oh my, I'm getting really annoyed now. Let me just take you. Put you straight in the water. Fall down. It's all part of the plan. Take you. Try to straight you up as well. Now in theory that should be enough to stand on. I thought. Don't do this to me. Okay. Let's put it down. Please be something of value. I guess that's nice. Like a Kuroko seed or something? Oh. They I have found already. That was only like a setup for the Kuroko. Okay. <laughs> Value for me then. Not really. But anyways. Let's do what we came here for. As a start, I want to go and get my arrows. <laughs> I will just have to beam myself up here. If we can find a centimeter of space, yeah. No need to be scared. That's a totally natural thing to do. Quickly run up here. Let's 
Let the music do its thing. That drop to the guitar thing is so nice. Mm. Or is it a banjo, maybe? Right now, we just need to secure as much food as possible. Yeah, I have should have three cave fish what? for you. Ah, oh, so you're carrying at least three glowing cave fish. Would you like it? Yes, I want the arrows. <laughs> Thank you. Here's ten arrows. Can I do this trade more times? Shilling trout and bright caps. I should have that as well. Let me just speed through this. Because it's only talking about that they need food. So, 10 more arrows. Can we get even more? Now we gave five bright caps for ten arrows. Now we've gotten thirty arrows from her, which is nice. Do you? What do you need now? Okay, so it's chilling trouts and uh, bright shrooms for arrows. That's that's actually a great place to know that you have, because those are easy to find in caves here. So a heart for good places, I think, is a good. And there is a. Both a um, chest and a Kuroko here that I have missed. That's easy enough. Thank you, thank you, bye bye. And a chest, right? Yeah. And now we need to check where we sh should go. There. So I wanna start from the top and work my way down. Are the bridges okay? You tell me. Like, these chests must have appeared after we have done this place, because I took this way to Rito Village the first time. And I would have seen that chest if it was there. Okay, somewhere here is an... Should be an entrance to the... To, the, to a cave that should have a chasm in it. Don't need to climb the trees. Like, I really don't want to jump down too quickly here. Because the cave entrance can be up here as well, I'm thinking. Oh my, stop freaking... And also, I think we need to fix this bridge. Somehow. We must rebuild the bridge. Yeah. Now that the blizzard had passed, I'd like to repair the bridge so the supplies can arrive in the village. Sadly, we're not equipped for a ma major rebuilding project. But I've heard there are highlands who are skilled in construction. Say, you're a highland. Do you know anyone who can help? I can help. Hmm, sounds like you need a good carpenter. I know. What about that guy at Lookout Landing? If he could build an incredible structure like that, I bet he'll have no problem fixing up our bridge. His name was... Oh... Shoot, I don't remember, but it ended on Son. Maybe Hudson's Constructions? Ah. Fantastic. Yes, he sounds up to the task. However, I can't leave the village right now. What with my defense duties? We'll have to dispatch an emissary to look out landing in my place. But who to send? Everyone's so busy. Send me, I guess. The Rito Rope Bridge side quest. Okay. So that bridge has nothing to do with the cave. Let's just jump down and try to find the cave entrance from the depths here. Maybe we should have done a flying car now when I'm thinking about it. A bit easier.
Because this is gonna take forever if you're gonna climb here and or even dive down here. Nah, this is not the way to do it. And am I like forever to uh Yeah, I'm gonna quick travel this thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna swim. Sorry for that. Let's find this goddamn cave entrance. Also, let's read the quest we're doing. Uh, Demon King, blah, 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 ultimate weapon. The Demon King may have a clue to Zelda's whereabouts. So go catch Kuga at the abandoned Hebra mine. There may be a chasm that leads you straight to it. Yes. That doesn't... It gives me the same thing that we already know, that it should be some type of entrance here, to a cave. I have a really hard time locating an entrance here. Don't fall away. I was just gonna check what this was. Ah, this must be it, huh? Oh. Well, well, if it isn't Link. I haven't seen you since we met at the Hyrule Field Chasm. Uh, Yosha asked me to search the area around Rito Village for a Chasm. Oh. And lo and behold, I found one. Nice. Yeah, there it is. See, it's directly below us. Ah. Oh. I plan to return and report my findings to Yasha after I rest a short while longer. If you plan on entering the chasm, I urge you to do so with caution. Yeah, yeah of course, of course, I will do it with caution. But I'm gonna bring my car with me. Because it's too expensive to just keep on... Oh, sorry. Keep on dropping them. <laughs> after, like, I have flown on them for two minutes. So I'm gonna try to take this with me down to the depths. So here I will need to do a nice little turn. And that's a small, small opening. Oh yeah. This will never work. Ah, I will craft a new one. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, is, is this counting as a cave or a chasm only? Because if it counts, counted as a cave, then a uh, frog bulb should be here, but it was a chasm, so that, that explains everything. Oh my god. Great start. Just as they said. Here he is. Giga dude. But I'm gonna try to find a... Uh, Light route first. That's nice. So that's actually everything on this <laughs> in this chasm. It's only this uh, shrine. No, not shrine, uh, this temple. Yes, let's go up to him then. No time to waste. After I 
I'm going to collect some po over here. But looking at the time, I think the the Yiga boss fight will have to wait for the next episode. If you have enjoyed this, please consider liking the video. It helps me a lot. Subscribe so you don't miss on the future episodes. This has been 23. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And bye bye.